Hi guys, I wanted to read you something in honor of June 22nd, 1941. Alexander was woken up at four in the morning after sleeping for barely an hour. It was June 22nd, summer solstice, the longest day of the year, 1941. Colonel Mikhail Stepanov addressed his garrison troops. About an hour ago, Hitler wiped out our Crimean naval fleet stationed in the Black Sea. Our planes, our ships, and our men have been destroyed. Defense Minister Molotov is going to make an announcement today at noon. It's war. Alexander was assigned to patrol Leningrad until 6 in the evening, at which time he had to be back at the barracks for sentry duty. He left the garrison gladly. At the corner of Ulitsa Shultakov's Shudrin, Alexander paused briefly. A few blocks to the right of the river, Tory Park stretched pleasantly down the street. Which way should he go? To go straight and then circle around the park, or to walk straight along the park road and then circle around back to the monastery? He lit a cigarette and stood for a few minutes, looking at his watch. He had a bit of time. What was the rush, anyway? He was only one man. He couldn't patrol everywhere at once. So Alexander turned right and walked down Ulitsa Siltakov Shudrin. The street was deserted, and the trees were rustling in the summer wind. And then he heard a sound, a soft sound of someone singing. It was very faint. Alexander looked across the street and saw a girl on a bench. Covered by a leafy canopy of forest green trees, she sat on the bench like a white flurry. Her golden hair, her white dress, her blood-red roses. She was eating ice cream and softly singing to herself in between the licks of the cone. Alexander recognized the tune. She was singing, We'll meet again in Lvov, my love and I, a current popular song. She somehow managed to sing, lick her ice cream, bounce her bare leg, her foot gussied up with a red sandal, and to pull the hair back from her face all at once. She was oblivious, not just to Alexander standing across the street, dumbly staring at her, but also to the war that just started, to the world, to all the things that guided the citizens of Leningrad on this Sunday. In the moment that she was in, she had herself and her hair and her magnificent dress and her ice cream and her soft voice. She was in the world Alexander had never seen, swimming on the moon in a sea of tranquility. He could not move from that spot on the pavement. Alexander forgot Dmitri. He forgot the Soviet Union. He forgot his escape plans. He forgot Hitler. He forgot war and even America. On that Sunday, he stepped off the curb and crossed the street for Tatiana Mitanova.